There's only one, there's only one It's only one, just only one Just love and happiness, beauty and holiness Only one, just only one Just loving our family, serving with righteousness Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog So I'm with my husband right now, he's got a fresh haircut so <laughs> We're on our way to Ikea. You know, I've been talking to you about the things I want to do with the house this year. Just trying to get some inspo and pick out, you know, maybe some possible furniture that we can get for the guest room and for that sitting room that I was talking about. And just look at like floors and like kitchen arrangements and just things like that. I have been advised by my friend who's a realtor, her name's Jazz. Um, if you're in the South Florida area, definitely use her as your realtor. But she told me to absolutely not move the kitchen. She's like, if that's not your forever home, don't spend that much money on moving the kitchen. She's like, just do smaller upgrades around the house. She said, definitely get your backyard in check because if you live in Florida or anywhere that has nice weather, as she's been selling houses, she's realizing that people really look for a nice backyard. So she was like, even if your backyard is small, make sure you make it an oasis. So I think we're definitely going to be focusing on the backyard, but for us, it's a little bit harder because we have to get permits and like HOA stuff. So, so it's gonna take longer than I would want it to because we can't just do whatever we want whenever we want. My top priority right now, aside from the backyard, would be um, the guest bathroom needs work. The doors, we're gonna change the doors. Closet doors, like downstairs and like for the AC and the towel closet, those little closet doors have gotta go. I would like to change the floors. I feel like it'll really bring up the property value of our home. We like get the nice tan wood floors. I think that would help a lot. And um, I think those are like, like change wise, those are the only things that I'm really thinking of doing. And then we just need to like, you know, put furniture in all the other rooms <laughs> basically. So, but yeah, I have decided to leave the kitchen alone because. It's news to me. I didn't tell you that. No. no. <laughs> the vlog eats first. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, Jazz said don't do it. You know, she's a smart woman of God. She is a smart woman of God. <laughs> what are you trying to find today? Some inspiration for my life. Some inspiration for me? You know, this is the last gift you gave me. That's the last gift I gave you? When it wasn't like our Christmas or birthday. Dang, I was buying you some expensive stuff to be your wife. Ah, this would be nice for the guests. This is like perfect, actually. All right, give me a lay. It's soft? <laughs> I'm not mad at this. Jess wants it. I'm getting all cozy in this place. <laughs> Shoes off. I'm just thinking about my dad's back. <laughs> My problem is I don't want any more couches that like peel. Why would it peel? Because this is the this is the um the material of couches that do the peeling thing. I already seen one over there. We use that as a second living room. Jazz, this is the one. <laughs> I do like this though. It's fine. Interesting. Okay. Look at this fool. <laughs> what are you what are you working on? <laughs> oh, you just sent it. Sent. <laughs> oh, let's take a look outside. I have nothing. This is a picture. They look real. So guys, what do you think about this one? I mean, I'm not fan too fancy of the color, but this is what the couch looks like when it's a couch. And then you can turn it into this bed. This is what it looks like when you pull it out. So like legit becomes a bed and that's how it looks like as a couch. Let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, it's the same as the other one pretty much. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Oh, we can pick different fabrics. Oh, blue. I wouldn't be mad at blue. Oh, it's probably like, looks like that one. Probably. Do you like it? Because I kind of do want something that looks like a lounge, so while it's still a couch, it's like good for upstairs living room vibes. So I don't necessarily want something like that. It's ugly. Yeah, and it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> These fake windows are kind of believable. Whoa. So on the bottom, it's like vibes, and if somebody wants to sleep, they go up there. Wow, look at this. This is very modern. I like these these mirrors and this, this is cute. What if they're like, we just did this half for like the guest bathroom? Would what? that, would that ins excite you? Yes. I like that. It's so like modern. This is kind of nice too. Nice tall mirror and these sinks. You like the sink, babe? It's interesting. Like the sinks that sit on top of the counter instead of like in the counter? It's interesting. 
Oh, wait, you're. I don't not like it. Yeah, I like that. Y'all check out these lights. It's like a face. It's swinging because Jonathan tried to pick it up. <laughs> I'm gonna put it over my face. <laughs> Guys, these lights were really popular at one point, and like, wait, because they like close. And, how do you do the thing? Let's not break it. Ooh, there it is. It was like so cool, but like now I'm like, I'm good. You like that, babe? No. No? <laughs> not giving. You guys. Oh, it's right there. And you don't like it? This is what I wanted to put in our back patio for the flooring. <sighs> what does it feel? Wait, I gotta feel it without. It feels clickety crack. Because -click it's probably not down properly. This as is it. As it oh, but it looks so nice, doesn't it? If you want it, we'll get it. I like that. Get you one of those, ladies. Get you one of those. I can get it. Jonathan says no a lot, but he also I never say. I will never say no. Oh my God, never. you guys. The Hardly lies. Ever. The lies. If we took out the patio, and then we had this on one side as like the covered place for the vibes, and then the other side as just like all grass, that would be a vibe. Ooh, what's up? Good morning, friends. So I am at the DMV to reinstate my license. <laughs> Cause I don't know if you saw the last video, but my license expired on my birthday and it's um, April 4th today. And my birthday was in January. <laughs> you know, a little fugitive vibes. So the DMV opens at 8.30. They take limited appointments. I'm so funny. I really thought I was doing a good job cause I'm like, oh my gosh, I got there at 8.20. Like I'm early. If you guys saw the line, outside right now I'm gonna show you I really thought I was early I don't do this often but literally in my old at my in uh what in Port St. Lucie my old um home it would have been a straight walk-in at this time if you show up 10 minutes before they open you would have been walking straight in that will not be the case for me today I'm trying to I'm gonna try to be slick I don't want to like it's because there's a lot of black people out here that I don't think they're playing with me putting them on camera can y'all hear me oh my god honestly I could barely find parking there's so much people. I don't know if you guys can see this line. I don't know if y'all can see that. OD. <laughs> Put on a little bit of makeup. Hopefully I can get my license done. Cause I'm tired. I'm tired of driving around like ducking and dodging. It's too much for me. I'm not made for that. I can't believe there's so many people here. I thought I was on time. <laughs> All right, bye. change my last name <laughs> the only reason I haven't changed my last name yet is because we're going out of the country in like six weeks and I just did not want to go through the whole process of renewing my passport and my passport expires next year and I heard that even if you get a new passport the expiration date doesn't change so I'd be going through all of that and my passport would still expire next year I don't know if that's true but that's what I heard so I was like I'm not about to waste my time I'm not so I'm just gonna stop by Publix really quick just to get some essentials we're out of eggs and we're out of Cheez-Its I got a new Cheez-It like craving it's not okay wait let me pause. It's not a craving, but my husband bought this box of Cheez-Its. And it was like a assorted one. It was like, you know, the regular Cheez-Its, which is what we normally eat. And then they had a Cheddar Jack and a Parmesan. And I was like, let me try the Cheddar Jack. And it changed my life. So now I need to get a box of Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its. I feel like there's a closer parking spot. Who's going to believe with me? Don't be a motorcycle. Yes! Yes. We love that. I feel a chemistry Don't let no one come and take your place This love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else can do That's part of my life My love for children won't please you And anywhere I can Don't share my world, don't you understand? My love is a million, a million 
Hey friends, so, ooh, this is cute. Okay, so I just came back from a little hot girl walk. I was trying to get in 10,000 steps, but that's just for another day. I did like a little over 7,000 though. Watch, don't play with me. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, I did a little over 7,000 steps, but I was out there for an hour and 10 minutes, and I'm like, it's time to go home. My husband called me like, girl, where, where are you? So, that's that. But I was about to take a shower, but I was like, I think it's time. It's time. The last time I did this, like I was like, I'm just gonna start waxing at home now. I did a, I gave myself a wax on Valentine's Day. It took like four hours. <laughs> it's not for the faint of hearts. And also I hadn't waxed in a while. So that was a really bold move for me. Like something that should have taken 15 minutes. Cause like when I go to the wax people, it takes like 15 minutes. Something that should have took 15 minutes took hours. But now that I have a you know a better canvas to work on, um, it shouldn't take that long. I just ordered these off of Amazon. This is the leftover from last time. I'm not sure if it's fine to just keep using it over and over again, but I really hope that's not what they do. Whatever, I don't care. So I'm gonna pour some in here. That should be enough. I don't think I need that much. This is turned on, so I'm just gonna close this, let it heat up. And then it should be nice and hot, ready to just rip all my worries and troubles out of my skin. So I know we like homies, we're like best friends over here, but I'm not about to do this on the phone or on the camera in the vlog with you guys. I mean, not that I'm gonna like show you like, shh, but just like have it here while I'm like, you know, ripping it out. But and that might just be too much. So gonna wrap that up. Um, also, I'm supposed to get my period in a few days. Again, I, I promise you. It's every vlog at this point. Um, and I hear the worst time to like get a wax or to get like laser treatment or anything is like when you're about to be on your period because your body is like super sensitive. So that's also exciting. Just part of being a woman. We go through so much pain. I just, it is what it is at this point. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's like all melted. Some, there's like a few beads that are still kind of stiff, but that looks kind of gross, doesn't it? Let me wax, let me mix this up. What does pink and green make? Oof. Ugh, not a cute color. Hi friends, I am so excited today because I'm going to visit my family and Sorry, right, that car is moving way faster. <laughs> I'm going to visit my family. I haven't seen my family in like a month and it's been driving me crazy because I'm like, I'm so close with my family and honestly, I really hate that, even though I'm the one who moved down here, <laughs> I hate living so far away from my family. I, I did try to get us, like when we were when it was time to buy a house, to like move back to Port St. Lucie, but um, yeah, Jonathan wasn't having it. So I'm gonna head up there now. It is it's 10 a.m. I'm going to surprise my parents actually because my they don't know that I'm coming. I actually don't know if my dad is home. He might be at work. Oh, I miss my dad so much, guys. Well, I miss I miss all my family, but I actually I talk to my mom literally every single day on FaceTime for most days it's an hour. Sometimes we can't do an hour, but I don't get to talk to my dad as much because my dad works like two jobs. Very Jamaican of him, but he's 65 and I hate that so much. I'm like, oh, I wish I could retire him. Like, I gotta find out a way. I gotta find out a way to retire my dad. I'm like, what can I do to get a million dollars really quick? Cause I hate that he's 65. He literally works in the daytime, goes home, gets like three to four hours of sleep and then works a night shift. I. I hate it. Anyway, but I think I think he might be home today. Let's call him. Please leave your message for mm. It's my dad's at work. Dang, that sucks. I know my mom's home though, so I'm not even gonna call her because I don't want to give anything away. And hopefully I get to see my nieces, I mean my nephews. I don't think I'll be able to see my nieces unless I stop by. But my mom usually babysits my nephews on Fridays, so I get to see my, oh, I'm so excited. And I'm about to get some Jamaican food for free. Oh, so I really do want to move back to Port St. Lucie, especially since we're thinking about having kids now. I would love to, um, I know it's, it's a little selfish because right now we live close to Jonathan's uh, parents. Uh, you know, Jonathan has parents and he has a brother. I was like, I want to be close to my mom when I have kids. Like she lives two hours away. I'm like, she's not gonna live with me the first two weeks of having a kid. I'm like, I want to be close to my mom. And like, I have six nieces and nephews. Like my, our kids would have you know, kids to play with. One of the main reasons why we're not really going to move is because of my church. My church is a big thing. So 
Everyone who's happy that we live here, you better thank the church. I know, I'm sure we probably could find another one, but that one is solid, bro. Like, I don't know. And my father-in-law said something that really stuck with me the other day. He was like, you can find a good preacher anywhere, but it's not as easy to find community. And the community that we have at our church, it's unmatched. You know, it just sucks. Like, I feel like I'm not, I'm missing my nieces and nephews grow up. Landon and Simi are my godsons, but they were the, they're the freshest, the newest ones, and they don't know me at all. And in the past year, it's been really hard to spend as much time up there as I used to because I'm married now. I can't just leave whenever I want to. Well, I can. Jonathan's never going to tell me no, but I don't think that'd be very good for the marriage. <laughs> good morning. Hi, Mom. Hello, sweetie pie. What's up? Nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to Target. To pick up some. Um, yeah, let's get some stuff for the house. We still have an hour and six minutes until I get there. So the road's kind of crazy right now. So I'm just going to focus on driving. And I will talk to you guys when I get there. Surprise my family. I'm so excited. And my mom told me she's making Kalalu and selfish right now. I almost told her, make sure you make enough. Make sure you make enough, please. Mm, mm, mm. The dumpling and banana and oh, I can't wait. Let me hurry up and get there. I'm pulling up to the spot. Jamaican breakfast. I'm like, yeah. Oh, Yay! Guys, my nephews just got here. I'm gonna hide right here. What's your name? Levi. Levi. And who, who am I to you? Levi. What am I? What's my name? Auntie. Auntie. How old am I? Three. I'm three? Yeah. I'm the same age as you? Yeah. Okay. How old is Gigi? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Do you love me? Give me a few years. Do you love me? How old am I? Yes. Can I have a kiss? Wow. Thank you. You said 50. 50. That's not bad. Watch your head. What? Hi. Tell them what you want for your birthday. I want a big motorcycle and just do power. Okay. And all the just do power. Um, two pack, two pack, mm -hmm. and a Spider Man monster truck. And tell them when your birthday is. You know what date your birthday is? Mm -hmm. December? 
9th. There you go. December 9th. So we will write that down and remember that. What you gonna get me for my birthday? What did you get me for my birthday last year? See, this is a one-way relationship. I want gifts too. Okay. I want to get you a cat. You can give me a cat? I love cats. You guys think we look alike? Could he pass for my son? You think you look like me? Yeah. Who do you look like, me or daddy? Your daddy. Um, here. <laughs> Clap your tiny hands, clap your tiny hands. Hey guys, so today was supposed to be a mother-daughter day. Here's my beautiful mother, yay! It was supposed to be a mother-daughter day, but we're stuck with um, all three of the kids. Don't be falling asleep now, because we're not, all right. Yeah, we got stuck with all three of the kids. So mother-daughter day has turned into mother, auntie, nephew day, which is fine. But I literally have not hung out with my mom alone without children or like without my dad or my husband in literally five years. Oh, we even had a time alone nice. in five years. So yeah, we gotta fix that. But I called my mom into looking at model homes up here with me. I guys, I can't stop, I can't stop. I know I need waste to stop. Waste of time. <laughs> it is a waste of time, but I honestly, I just love looking at homes. I, I feel like even when I live in my dream home, I'm still gonna wanna look at homes. Like when I was a kid, I would always love to look at the they don't sell those anymore. The books that they would have in the front of the store. Oh, yeah. Like those little realtor books with all the different houses. I've always loved looking at houses. Like, I thought I was going to be a realtor. But, yeah, so I drug her along. I dragged her along with the three kids. And we're going to look at some houses that I'll probably never live in. But it should be fun. <laughs> look at this house. This is nice. It has a nice circular driveway. There goes my nephews. Look at this big old entryway. So here's the garage, and then you walk in, and there's a laundry room. And then they have a little, what do you guys call these again? Like a mud room. So yeah, this is the master bedroom, which is like all cute and dandy. But like, this whole other side is the ho of the house is still the bedroom. It's like, that would be the door to the master bedroom. Bedroom is there, walkway to your closets, another closet, and then you walk a little further and you're in your bathroom. <laughs> wow, nice. I really think we need to um, encourage Jonathan to move over here because where we live, price is not cutting it. Why is this house the same price as our house? Let's not talk about it. Let me show y'all the living room and the kitchen. So you guys, my house shopping got cut short, <laughs> abruptly. Hi! We are at Walmart now, and every time I come here, I be spoiling these kids. They always get to get a... a... I'm here with her, too. You're on this side. <laughs> You guys think me and my mom look alike? No. <laughs> okay, ta ta. Yeah, every time I come here, I bribe the kids to love me by buying them something. Um, that's gonna stop soon, though. That's gonna stop. They need to get a job. Ten dollars and under per gift. I do this with Pia and Penelope. See, I like buying them the presents because they they be picking up the little four dollar race cars. Now, P and Penelope, they be picking up the fifty dollar gifts. So I said, mm mm, not wrong here. Not this auntie, you got the wrong one. All right, get ready with me to go to oh, dinner with my friends. So, as you guys saw, I was in Port St. Lucie today. Did a surprise visit to see my mom. It's supposed to be a mommy and me day with a little bit of dad sprinkled in and. The kids were there the entire day, so not necessarily mommy and me, but my mom was telling me, she's like, I know your day didn't go as planned, but thank you so much for coming. It means so much. Like, oh, my mom. My best friend. I love her so much. And my dad, too, of course. I just love them. Are you kidding? Honestly, my outfit tonight is so trash. Like, I'm not even about to be like, oh, here's my outfit because it's like brown tank top, black pants. You see it back there. Nothing going on here. You guys, it's so funny. Literally, <laughs> literally the video before, not the video, the clips before this is right before I take a shower. 
And since I'm going out to like get tacos tonight with my friends, I just, you know, I do plan on having a drink. So I was like, let me just take a pregnancy test just to make sure I'm not pregnant, you know, before I go out and being getting the getting a margarita. <laughs> and you know, it doesn't hurt too bad because I kind of knew I wasn't because I also took another one like three days ago. <laughs> and I, why am I getting upset? I knew it wasn't positive, girl. Like, please contain yourself. Honestly, it, uh, I have something in my eye. No. It, where to go? Oh, I hate when that happens. It's in another dimension now. It like rolled all the way. It's gone. I forgot what I was saying. Maybe God was like, girl, stop saying what you're saying. So whatever. Anyway, so I'm going out with my friend Alexa and it's so funny because, well, it's not funny. Alexa is actually my husband's brother's girlfriend and she's actually one of my best friends. She's actually one of my best friends before they became boyfriend and girlfriend. So if they work out it's a huge win for me she's actually one of my bridesmaids too like huge win but yeah we're going out there it is i feel like that eyelash is like trying to come back I'm trying to make a comeback i think i'm gonna put my hair up because i think the silk press is really on its i don't even say it's on its last leg like it's just kind of over hold on wait a minute now it doesn't still move it still moves it's just real greasy i'm kind of over it honestly i can't wait until I wash my hair again so that I can see where to cut. I already told Jonathan, I'm like, just so you know, I'm cutting my hair. Just so you know, I'm cutting my hair. And he was like, uh. The thing is, Jonathan loves my natural hair, but he's not really excited for me to be bald headed again. But whatever. He's like, I prefer the longer hair, but you do what you do. And I'm like, well, don't even worry. Give me about a year and a half, maybe two. We're going to be all right. But even still, when I cut my hair, I'm not saying if, I'm saying when, because I'm ready. When I cut my hair, I'm probably not going to wear it out natural. Not natural, sorry. I'm not going to wear it out in its, like, short phase that much. Because, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it either. Like, if it can't even fit into, like, a, a little puff, you're going to be in braids. You're going to be under a wig, under a turban. I just, it just doesn't, it's not for me. It's just not for me. If it's for you, fantastico, chef, chef's kiss. It's not for me. Like, I'm not afraid to cut my hair. I'll cut my hair whenever I feel like it, whenever I'm ready. But I am afraid to wear it <laughs> when it's short, when it's short. I'm just not there. And nobody better not use me as a, well, you could give so much girls hope and be an example. Get somebody else to do it. I'm, it's not me. I'm not the one. I will give you hope and be an example in other areas of life. I can't do it all. I am not Jesus, okay? I will be doing like, you know, like I'll do natural hair videos, but as soon as that video is over, turban <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't know. So honestly, I really want to get these braids in my head. They're like ombre. And since my hair will be short, it'll be like true ombre. Cause you know how sometimes girls get ombre, but their hair is long. So it's kind of like intertwined in like the ombre color. Mine will be like legit because my hair will be so short that it will be intertwined. But I'm afraid that if I have a fresh cut that the braiders won't take me because your hair is not supposed to be super even. Cause then like it's harder to like tuck, you know? I don't know, I'm gonna cut my hair and then not really know what to do with it. But that's okay. We always figure it out. Honestly, the low pony always does it for me. Always, 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 always. Okay, literally this outfit doesn't even deserve uh, like an OOTD, but here we are. Sandals. Black cargoes, a shirt that doesn't even really go with a cargo type of vibe, but I don't have any clothes, so I don't care. Also, I'm so grateful that you guys enjoyed last night's vlog that I put up. I mean, it's an hour and 30 minutes, and you guys were like, yes, girl. Oh, just turn the light off. I'm just so shocked that you guys enjoyed such a long vlog. I'm Honestly, I was so scared. I'm like, oh my God, this is so long. Nobody's going to watch this, but like, that's actually my best performing vlog in the past four months <laughs> like wow i will say though that vlog was over almost two weeks a span of almost two weeks hold on yeah that wasn't like a regular weekly vlog i think something went wrong with my post that week so i was like well i might as well just keep vlogging so i went from being a weekly vlog to being like a week in six days vlog <laughs> so they're not all gonna be that long i can't promise that like I really can't so all right we're leaving but I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed my vlog and I really feel like I have a community that I just want to like like are we best friends are we besties because I feel like we are and I feel like I can tell you guys like anything I know I shouldn't I have to learn to keep some things to myself but I do feel safe with you guys even though I know that literally anybody can watch my videos but I feel a little bit safer that I can say certain things. Who is texting me crazy right now? Oh. Yes.
Because I'm with my queen. I'm vlogging her, she's vlogging me. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> Hey guys, it's a rainy day today. Honestly, I told myself I was gonna get out of bed like two hours ago. <laughs> and then I ended up talking to my mom for like an hour and a half on the phone. And then I started looking out the window like, so you're just gonna rain today on the day that I have plans? Just so you know, I was wearing a satin scarf, but it fell off my head, but no worries. The pillowcase is satin, so it doesn't matter. But y'all have to record this wig video, and I'm like, oh, I just have anxiety. <laughs> Not anxiety, I'm just kind of like stalling because I'm like, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be that hard, but I feel like I can never get the lace to quite match my forehead, so it's always pretty obvious. But also, I really want to wash my hair because I kind of want to see what my new growth is looking like. Well, first of all, I need to wash my hair anyway because the silk press is definitely over. But I want to see what the new growth is looking like because I'm ready to big chop. And I just need to mentally prepare how short my hair is going to be because the back is fine. But I know I'm going to have to cut the back too to match, like, catch up with the front. Or the front needs to catch up with the back. But I know the front growth is going to be much shorter because that was the area that, you know, was the most damaged. So I have to cut it much shorter. <sighs> I'm just kind of ready to just do it, you know. I wanted to go to Target today. I'm gonna tell y'all why in a little bit. <laughs> if I ever do go there, because I guess today is just gonna be like a slow morning for me. Maybe I'll clean the house a little bit. Ugh, it's Friday. I mean, it's not Friday, it's Monday. Yesterday was Easter and I just like, and I'm so mad I took the Easter bun out. Ugh, they had Easter bun and cheese at church yesterday. I put two in my bag because I was like, let me carry some for Jonathan. Because I had them while I was at church. But Jonathan came to the second service. And I said, but let me put two in here for him. We got to his parents' house yesterday. I took them out and I put them on the counter. He said he'll eat them later. Later came. He didn't end up eating them because we had a huge Easter dinner. And I forgot to put them back in my bag. And now I'm home with no bun and cheese. And now there's like, and, uh, I, <laughs> anyway, let me get started on my day. sit right here so you guys can see me walking down the stairs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I took care of some house stuff and uh, then my camera died, so <laughs> we're back a little bit later. But honestly, the weather looks so good right now. What time is it? I feel like I should go for a walk while it looks like this. Hold on, let me show y'all. It looks like it feels so good outside right now. Like the, the wind is blowing. It's not too much sun. Out here, all the pretty girls walk like this. This, this, this. All right, you guys, I had a great walk, it was beautiful. I took a shower, did my skincare routine, and I thought, like, when I was in the shower, I was like, crap, I need to shave my armpits. But I looked at my shaver that's in the shower, and I was like, I'm not, I'm absolutely not using that on my skin. So I was like, you know what? I have a wax thing, I've never waxed my armpits before, but <laughs> I thought it was gonna be quick because I thought, if anything. 
my down there area is much more sensitive than my armpit but this this one hurts really bad wow i don't even it hurts so bad this this is way worse than down there for some reason oh my gosh it hurt. Like, i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to, to do this <gasps> ah! why does it hurt so bad i thought it was like a much less sensitive area <laughs> oh my gosh <sighs> I can't do it, I can't do it. I wonder if I can shave off, like shave the wax off. Oh my gosh, I just took a fresh shower and I feel like my, I feel myself like sweating. And this is like my fourth day in a, in a whoa. Fourth day in a row wearing this shirt and sweatpants combo. And I feel like every time I put them on, they're like looking at me like, man, please give us a break. I can't. I don't even have like a good grip. I have like, it, like a little tail is coming off. So I have like, this is not even a good grip. Oh, what have I done? Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so stupid right now. Why did I do this? I mean, I really didn't want to like record my hair video because you know you gotta put your arms up with my armpits out like this. And my my rate I need a new razor. I will not use that on my skin. But this. Sometimes you just need to go to a professional because she would have been done already, honestly. Oh, I'm so... Do I have scissors? Because I literally want to cut this off. Okay, all right, I have a good tail right here. I have a good tail. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. One, two, three. <laughs> Shoot, I really thought I was going to do it. <laughs> I'm hot. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. All right, y'all. After about 30 minutes, I have completed one. Well, actually, I'm not even going to say I completed because there's still some hair there. But I'm not doing this one. I'm not doing it. I don't care. I'm not ever doing that again. I'll do every other part of my body. My armpits will never be touched by me again. So if y'all see me in my hair video, like doing my hair like this instead of like going in, it's because I don't want to raise my armpit. I don't have time. I don't care. We're just going to be, um, Give boho vibes in the next video because I, I'm not doing that again. All right, guys. So the wig is on. I just finished recording the video. I was, you know, got my little camera over here. I like it, but I just, I'm not, I feel pretty, but I'm like, who are you? You know? It's like so much hair. Honestly, for this wig video, I'm just not used to, like, I think I look good, but it's like, if I was somebody else, I'd be like, oh, I love it. But since I'm just so not used to this, like, ugh. I already know Johnson's gonna absolutely hate this because one, he doesn't really love when I wear makeup. And two, he definitely does not love when I wear wigs. And guess what I did on our wedding day? I did both. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're just gonna open some packages really quick. Jonathan and I are going to a heat game tonight, and the game's at 7.30, it's 4.30 now. Sorry, it's felt a gush. Guys, why did I get my period mid-recording? I'm like, so uh, this is the lace wig, and I was like, oof, felt that. So, my period's here. I'm honestly not very active on Instagram. I just, like, I, I can't, like, even, like, I'm not even that good at posting stories every day. Is this for me? Jonathan's home. He's gonna... He's gonna hate this. Oh no, he got home quick. I keep forgetting on Tuesdays that he gets home early. Actually, I'm excited for y'all to see what he thinks about this. Do I even wanna hurt my feelings? I should just run upstairs and take this wig off so I don't have to hear Jonathan's voice, but you guys are gonna see. You know what also Jonathan hates? He hates when he can you can see the lace, and I just don't think that's possible to hide. So, let me give him my best effort. <laughs> He's just not gonna like it. He won't like that the bill's getting paid though. It's one or the other. I'm gonna say this off in a second though because I wouldn't even wear this to the game because it's just gonna be too hot on my, around my neck. It's just too much hair. Too hot. Get inside here, boy. Jonathan, you just not coming home? You gonna come home but not come home for real? Maybe he thinks I'm still recording. Let me see. But like, it's definitely giving she a bad if you know she a 10. For sure, but I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys like it? Y'all can be honest. I'm gonna go find him because what are you doing? Are you trying to surprise me? He's sitting in the car. You know what? 
Maybe he just needs a minute. Cause sometimes we talk about the fact that like, maybe he just needs a minute. Cause you know, he's been at work all day, talking to people all day. Maybe he just needs a minute to come in before I bombard him with like, babe, what do I do today? And oh my God, I got my period. Oh my God, do you like my hair? And oh my God, like, are you hungry? Do you want to eat? What time should we get ready to? So I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> I am gonna take this wig off my head though, because I don't have time. Woo, ball head shawty. Mm, 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 mm. Well, that was fun. I, I might run this back. I might. Now, wait, what am I gonna do with my hair tonight? I guess take these off. I'm so backwards. I'm going out tonight and I'm like, all right, let's take this makeup off. We're going to a heat game. I'm like just trying to be vibing. I'll take the lip gloss off. I'll keep like my blush and I'll just do some uh, mascara instead of lashes. I think that's a fair compromise. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to enjoy my last night of my hair out. Sorry, it's, that's so gross. Jonathan still has not come inside and he got home like 15 minutes ago. But also, I was talking to him on the way home and everything sounded fine. So I don't think it's anything to be like alarmed about. But like, this is kind of his first time sitting in the car for that long. Maybe he's on the phone. He might be on the phone with somebody. Husband? Hi. Why are we in the car for so long? How should I take your time? He should have texted me. Because I was like, oh, maybe he needs time. You okay? Yeah, of course. Oh, I was like, maybe he's just like... No, but I am. Um, like, that too. I'm going to take a second to, you know, decompose. Yeah, some of the are so draining, bro. I'm sorry, babe. Then the last one came in, she didn't speak English. Oh Come no. <laughs> Does anyone speak a different language in there to help? Do you finish? Oh my, no, my video's done. I just pulled off my eyelashes so oh. that. And I see I was wearing that. And I was telling them, I'm like, I was waiting for you to come inside so you can see the wig on my head. I was like, he's not gonna like this. And you didn't come inside. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you ready for the game? We're so cute! No, you have to go to the other side. Oh, this. <laughs> what's the rate tonight in Miami? That's a good question. It's likely. Tonight in Miami, there's a good chance of rain starting at about 6 p.m. Okay, alright, there you go. No! Feels like the first time. Feels like the very first time. What shoe should I wear? Hit that dance, hit that soda, hit that soda. <laughs> Period cramps have entered the chat. They're here. They're typing response bubble up and everything. I know I said yesterday that my period cramps have been better. I feel like my ovaries were listening to me and just literally chuckling like, girl, just wait. <laughs> I don't know. It's 2.36. I have been on this couch since like 10.30. <sighs> I was feeling okay because I took some pills around, I think like nine and then I started to feel my stomach start tingling again around like 1.30, but I was like, oh. I think I'm supposed to wait every six hours, to be honest. I was trying to hold off, but then around two, that thing started hitting me across the head like a baseball bat, child. I said, oh my gosh, I can't wait any longer. So I took them, and usually it takes like 15 to 20 minutes to like kick in, but I literally took them at like 1.55, and it's 2.40. That's annoying. It's still pouring rain. I think I'm gonna have to count this day as an L. I don't think I'm getting any work done today. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but the sound of the rain is quite relaxing. Hey guys, it's a new day. Florida's a catfish. Florida's a catfish. Honestly, I need Neve and his crew to come down here and expose her for the catfish that she is because it has been sunny all day today. I thought today was gonna be a beautiful day. I even went for a walk today. It's been sunny all day. Anyway. 
You guys remember when I was cleaning up my closet and I was like, why do I have so many sweatshirts? And I gave away like five. I bought another one. This one's new. Do y'all hear that? I didn't have plans on wearing a sweatshirt today, but now it's raining and all of a sudden I'm cold. But this sweater sweatshirt is dope though. My friends made this. They have a clothing line. And I've already just decided that when I come out with merch, I'm gonna have them make it for me. But this says selfless. And check the bag, check the bag! Wait, what does the bag say? Does it say dying to self? Wait, I forgot what the bag says. It says, wait, I'm gonna think about it right now. It says, I forgot what the bag says. But I know it says something good. I'll leave the link down below, but I had to cop. And now I'm wearing it because it's raining. Literally yesterday, you know, yesterday was like the biggest waste of my life. Oh, I didn't take my vitamins. Yesterday I had the worst cramps of my entire life. Um, but when we, when Jonathan came home, take my Ollie vitamins, you guys. Ollie. I'm almost done. I actually need more. I'm gonna get some more today. But I know it was gonna rain today. Anyway, why are you so good? So yesterday, Jonathan comes home. We were supposed to have our marriage group Bible study, but one of the guys in our marriage group had a basketball game, so he couldn't come him and his wife so we we're like okay well i'll just go to the basketball game when we we're on our way to the basketball game the sky was beautiful it was the prettiest sky i've ever seen after it had been raining all day and i was like you know what there's a message in this here okay honey there's a message yeah oh also last night y'all my mother was looking like dead <laughs> in both ways i was like why are you so fine and i'm gonna make you somebody daddy oh my gosh anyway Anyway, I'm really sad because I thought I was going to go to Target today. I don't leave my house when it's raining. Not purposefully, at least. Well, Jonathan said he wanted jerk pork for dinner, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some jerk pork. Not that I know I have never made that before. He said there's jerk seasoning in the fridge. Sir, where? Do you have jerk seasoning? No, there's not. Okay, joke's on him. I'm about to um, order some and put it in the pot and pretend I made it. He said there's jerk seasoning in the fridge? Yeah, the, the jerk thing in the fridge store. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. For you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feel feeling every day All I wanna hear is an everything that we play Staring Good morning guys, I'm finally on my way to Target We're gonna touch the hair on my head today My scalp is just so bad, oh my god I honestly thought I was gonna get an earlier start to the day. It's 10:18, but I spent honestly way more time on Zillow this morning than I needed to. Guys, I'm not even moving. I'm not even moving. I just want to check out the inventory, okay? I want to see what houses we're passing up on by not deciding to move right now. Even though it would be ridiculous to move right now, but I just want to know what's on the market. And the problem with me is whenever I feel like I've reached like, oh, okay, I saw these houses yesterday, like I've reached the new inventory I've seen it all I'm like well let me just you know change up the search criteria a little let's just bump it up a hundred thousand or I'm like oh I wonder what house they have in Kansas today why <laughs> I, just, I just love looking at houses guys I can't I can't stop also okay it's not raining today but I didn't know how bad the flooding was in our area I've seen a lot of TikTok videos and like Instagram videos people's houses are flooded and it's like way more serious than I thought. I was just like, damn, it won't stop raining. Like, please stop raining so I can go on my afternoon walk. But there's water in people's houses. I'm talking like up to their bedside. People are swimming in their cars. Like, it's actually is much worse than I thought. So my thoughts and prayers, like, it's just so, what's going on in the world? This world here, wrap it up. Throw this world away. All right, what are we getting? Should I make a list or should I just, you know, Feel the vibes, you know? Guys, first of all, Jonathan asked me why I didn't throw out this sweatshirt. Excuse me, you thought I was gonna give my wife established in 2022 sweatshirt away that I made with my own hands? I think not, sir. I think not. He's rude and fiesty and bright.
Y'all, I did not know Target had black girl sunscreen. What? Obviously, I don't be in here very much. You know, I don't leave the house. I gotta get one of these. Guys, I feel like I've been out of the natural hair game for so long that I don't even know who's that girl anymore. Like, is it Mia? Is it Tijin? 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 I mean, that's all they really have here is Mia and Tijin. Is it Curled? Blueberry Bliss? Like, who is it? All I know is that I want something that's gonna give me the minty feeling when I wash my hair because my hair is dirty. So I need that minty, tingly feeling right now. I need peppermint oil on my scalp now. All right, this is screaming my name. Rosemary Mint shampoo you don't want to focus that's fine we're gonna get you and then i guess we'll just get you to match you guys ulta and target am i ten thousand years late i i need to leave my house more you guys we came for hair products but <laughs> i had to come by real quick who's gonna tell me i don't need this who I'm buying this, wait, am I? How much does this cost? $30, that's not bad. Also guys, it's like 80 degrees outside and this is the fit. Literally a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Why is this little branch $15? Target, don't let me box you in your head. I almost thought about it though, I'm not gonna lie. Cause like, look, wait, 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 wait. Look at the vision, catch the vision. It's giving modern. Okay, but y'all hear the funks that Target's playing right now? I'm gonna get copyrighted. Bro, who is on the ox today at Target? Guys, I remember from my first apartment, I bought something like this to each their own, but like my style has changed so much. <laughs> I think I'm still finding my style though, to be honest. And that is why I want new stuff every day. Cause I'm like, mm, I don't like it anymore. And that's another reason Jonathan has put me pretty much in timeout. <laughs> It's like you change your mind way too much and he's not wrong but i also think it's because i always buy things that are cheaper than what i really want because i'm like oh i can't get that because it's too expensive so i'll buy something cheaper and then i'm like i don't like it the real lesson here is to stop settling and get what you really wanted the first time what happened to the ox all right i was gonna make something really cool for lunch but i don't feel like it i really just need to start eating healthier like the past three weeks i've been eating like a warthog I don't know why. I just felt like the way I was eating, it was like I was going through a bad breakup. Like I just kept eating and eating and eating. We're not doing that this week. I told myself, uh, well, it's Friday, so. I don't even know why I'm starting today. I really should just finish off with the bang because I ordered DoorDash like three times this week already. I think the problem was, why am I still wearing the sweatshirt? I was trying, since I wasn't working out anymore, like the past like three weeks, because my hair was straightened, I was like not working out. I was like, okay, we're gonna fast until 12. Not a spiritual fast, just like a, Fitness fast, I don't know, body, weight, fat, whatever. I was like, we're gonna fast until 12, so no food till 12, so basically skipping breakfast. But when it was 12 o'clock, I was like, all right, it's 12, let me get some Five Guys. It's just like, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense, and I was so hungry by 12, I was just eating everything in sight. Now, the real issue I'm having right now is I need to look at my receipt from Target, because I only bought five things. Literally, everything I bought is in this bag, and then this base, and it came out to be over $100. So, I didn't know how much this little way, this way, cause there was no price on it. And when she was ringing it up, when she told me the price, I had to keep my, my cool, keep my cool face, cause I don't want her to think I'm a broke girl, but. Way, what the hell? This better change my entire life. This way scalp and body scrub was $40. This was the most expensive thing that I bought. I ain't gonna lie, it smells real good, but like, Sheesh. Oh, it smells so good though. Whew. Yo, skincare is a lucrative business, okay? Anyways, let me show y'all where I'm gonna put this. So right now we have this over here and it's definitely giving elementary. I knew as soon as I put it there that I was like, this doesn't really go. It's like small and not what I want. So I'm just gonna replace it with this. I beg, I remember you said Oh, much better. And then we're gonna put these in here. Uh, that looks so much better. Wait, does it? I feel like, I don't like the way this is all spread out though. Do I need to, oh, push it down more. I don't know if I like that either, to be honest. I feel like it might need some like, something like tall. I feel like it needs like a taller thing. 
we'll work on that but as for these maybe these can still be here i don't hate it i don't know if the like i feel like the size portions are a little off but i'll leave it for now but this is not the final destination for sure all right you guys just quick spoiler alert i'm about to watch the last episodes of love is blind before the finale this season has been a mess it's been a mess okay if you have not seen it yet don't watch the rest of this video i know y'all probably like girl can you please wash your hair so we can see you're gonna have to wait <laughs> i have to watch love is blind like right when it comes out because the spoilers are ridiculous and the people who are on that show they really just said we don't care about our dnd it's not dnd nda <laughs> not the do not disturb they don't care about their ndas they are speaking they are disclosing loud and clear so i gotta watch it i just want to know if kwame says yes or no because that's where they left us off on the cliffhanger and i need to know right now everyone else i can kind of predict but kwame okay, let's go ahead skip that recap i'm gonna recap i remember you chose each other based on an intense emotional connection it's the time to decide if love is blind for as long as you both shall live I do. <laughs> pronounce you, husband and wife, Kwame. You may now kiss your bride. I'm not about to put y'all through any more of this, but let me finish eating my jerk pork. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't. my hair and then I decided to get a bob instead. All right, I'm gonna just put some leave-in conditioner in. Throw some on real quick. Oh, look at the little pretties back there. Oh, I'm so excited to start wearing my hair curly again. And I'm so excited to like start from scratch, believe it or not. Like, so excited to have like a little curly fro. I just, I don't know. I know I need to cut my hair because these, even though my curls in the front are looser naturally, it's not this loose, like. This is not gonna work for me. Should I just? No, I have to cut it. Maybe I'll do a mini chop. Hmm. And he shall reign forever. All right, let's see. You can really tell when I like brush my hair and I hold it out where I need to cut. Wait a minute, why I feel like it looked like that before? It's been looking like this little puff for a very long time. It didn't grow? How did this part not grow? That's it? I don't know if I could do that, y'all. That's little. That's it? I feel like it looked like that when I showed you guys like a year ago. I'm about to put that picture up because how is it the same? It hasn't changed at all? No way! <laughs> you gotta be like, why are you lying to me right now? That's it for real? I don't know if I've ever big chop with just this amount of hair. Maybe I have. That's so little. I don't know if I, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's cut a piece. I'm gonna cut this piece right here. So it'd be like, maybe like, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, it'd be like, it's light work. This, I'm not worried about it. Got a goner. Okay, so I'm only doing that because I wanna know what are we really like, what are we looking at here? So if I curled you, oh, look at her. She's little though. She's little. Am I really gonna do it? I want to, I'm not gonna lie, I really want to. Obviously I wouldn't do it in this video. I'd have to do a proper, a proper setup. 
Can this even go in a puff? Because if we can't even do a puff, then it's no deal. It's no deal. I gotta at least be able to do a puff. Will you stretch into a puff? Or at least like a, I don't know. <laughs> and then, what do we do with the back? Because this and this are two completely different lengths. You know what I'm saying? Let's check it out back here. So this back here, no damage. Well, I'm not gonna say no damage, but like back here I could have got away with it, but it does need a little bit of cutting. I feel like if you can see, like right around here is when it starts to get really loose. I feel like, yeah, down here, I would probably cut like right here. Cause like this is pretty, but it's not my, it's not my actual, what's it called? Curl pattern. I still feel like that's longer than the front though. Is it? Well, actually it might be just about right. Wait, it's kind of cute. But the thing is when it dries up, when it gets dry, that thing gonna shrink in half and it's gonna be right here. Oh my gosh. Let's look at this one. Like the back here, that's a goner. I'm trying to cut you right now. I might as well just do the dang thing right now. I think I'm gonna do it next week. I gotta make sure I have my um, protective style ready because, like I said, no ma'am. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so excited to be doing like natural hair content again. I miss my babies. It's been a minute. I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing with my hair. Oh my gosh. It's about to be gone. Say, so y'all say goodbye because literally I think the next video will be me cutting off my hair. It was a fun time. This is the end of an era. The bob was fun. Can we just get a moment of silence for the bob, please? Because, hmm. It's okay, I'll do my speech in the big chop. The big chop block. What is this, big chop number six? Number five? Number four? <sighs> Girl! Pick a side, pick a side. Just kidding, I'm team no sides because I'm team do whatever you wanna do. You can always start over again. Let me save this speech for the Big Chop video, okay. You guys, what am I gonna do? <laughs> oh jeez. Hey friends, so today's Saturday and I think I have the vid. I think I got the cocoa. So last night we went to like a little mini game night at my in-laws house. And I also washed my hair yesterday, so I don't know if these two are connected or if it's something else. But so, um, yeah, I washed my hair. Let's start there. I washed my hair yesterday, as you guys saw, and I just put it in like a little bun. And then we went to game night, and I felt fine the whole game night. It wasn't till we like got home where I was telling Jonathan, I'm like, oh no, I feel a little like tingly. You know, I'm like, ah. I know my body, my body feels a little bit off. But at the time I was thinking like, usually whenever I wash my hair, like when my hair is still wet and like the cold air, like it makes me feel a little sick. So anyways, um, I woke up this morning, I was feeling kind of the same, maybe a little bit worse, but I had already promised my nephew I'd go to his football game. So I was like, whatever. So I was thinking, I'm thinking it's just whatever, it's just my head, me going to sleep with wet hair or damp hair. My hair was still even damp this morning. So I was like, okay, cool. So I took a shower, I drank some tea, and I was like, all right, I feel fine. Went to the game, we had a great time. My nephew was so cute. All right, and we drove two hours to get there, so like, everything was fine. I felt fine. Um, went to the game, we're in the hot sun. I felt fine until we went out to eat after. And I was sitting directly under a fan and I had to have my brother switch seats with me because I was shaking. I was like, I think I'm gonna die actually. <laughs> On second thought, my body aches hit me like a four-wheeler so then we're like all right let's get out of here so drove two hours home i even drove home because jonathan had a mimosa or two he was like bro i don't know what to tell you oh so i drove home i felt okay on the way home but came home i took a hot shower jonathan made me some tea and i'm just laying in bed it's literally like 4 30 maybe 5 o'clock and i'm in bed I do have a test downstairs. I'm gonna take it, but I just can't move. I'm supposed to go out with my girls tonight too and I have church tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and cancel both of those just in case. Even if it's not, you know what? I don't wanna, if I'm sick, I don't wanna give it to my friends, so. <sighs> this just very well may be the end of this vlog because I, I'm done. I have nothing left to give. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morning, friends. Look, uh, my head is just, it's a new day. <laughs> I'm taking a COVID test. Ooh, 
Can I say that? Does that word get flagged? I don't know. I'm taking a test. Time to take another test. Now, this is one test that I don't want to be positive, okay? Please, God, please. Let me set y'all up. Anyway, I'm gonna take this. The last time I spoke to y'all, last time I spoke to y'all was Saturday. I skipped church yesterday. I just did not have it in me. Today's Monday. Um, I do feel better. No, Saturday night, literally, that was the worst. I, that, I, I don't have words. I just felt like I wanted to crawl out of my skin. Like that was the worst feeling I felt in a very long time. Like I just felt so uncomfortable laying in my skin. I wanted to peel it off and put it on the counter and just lay on the bed with my bones and blood vessels just popping out because I was like, this can't be right. Sunday was a little better. I just had literally zero energy and I just couldn't breathe out of my nose. But I was like, okay, that's not too bad. But zero energy was not fun. Um, my throat is not hurting or anything. But this morning, it was a close call. I woke up this morning, I felt really, really thirsty. But me, I don't like to drink <laughs> water until I brush my teeth. I just, I can't do it. I'm, I think I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. I don't know how I got sick, anyway. So I was brushing my teeth and then I was like, you know what, let me turn on the water so I could take a shower. I was brushing my teeth so I could drink water. And then I just forgot. And then I jumped into the hot shower because I've been really liking the hot water on my body. And I feel like I just got dehydrated in the shower or something. I lost it. I was trying to keep it together because Jonathan was getting ready for work. And I don't know, as soon as I heard him, the garage door open, I thought he was gone. I started bawling my eyes out. I was like, why do I feel this way? I just hear footsteps running up the stairs. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's still here. He's like, what happened? Are you okay? I thought he was gone. Anyway, y'all don't care. Let's take this test. So much instructions. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's Spanish. Oh, no, that's Spanish. Okay, I guess this is the Spanish one because... Aha. Prepare the test. You have the swab. You got the swab. Test card and pouch. This. It's this. Timing device. That would be this. Card must lay flat for the entire test. Remove the dropper bottle cap. Oh, it's hot! <sighs> one. Two, three, six. Open swab package at stick end. Take the swab out. <sighs> okay, this is taking too long. I'm running out of energy, honey. Take the swab out, okay? Swab both nostrils carefully. Up to three-fourths of an... <laughs> I hate this part. Okay, but I feel like the reason why people be getting false negatives because they're not going high up enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Oh, God, I hate it. Wow, that's horrible. Oh, jeez. Okay. Close this. I think I said press it down. All right. Cool. Wait, 15 minutes. All right, let's make a timer. All right, we got a 15 minute timer. Anyways, I'll come back and tell you guys what the test says because I just don't even have the energy. Like, I don't have it to talk to you guys right now. So, bye. All right. Let's see what the results say. Oh, I'm so annoyed already. Well, it says negative. One line is negative. <sighs> so what the heck is wrong with me then? Are we sure? It's not that I wanted it to be positive, but I kind of just wanted an answer. I mean, I didn't want it to be positive, but I really just kind of wanted an answer as to what the heck is going on with me. But maybe it's just the flu or something. I don't know. I'm not sure, but test is negative well my battery's gonna die now so <laughs> i'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog and then i'll see you guys in my next one love you guys